common buckthorn is a species that was introduced to the United States in the 1800s as an ornamental plant. This plant has naturalized and grows in riparian areas where it produces a dense understory that can negatively impact our ecosystem. Wildlife can help disperse the seeds of the buckthorn. The seeds can act as a laxative, providing animals with little or no nutritional value. In addition, buckthorn is thought to exude allelopathic chemicals that inhibit the growth of surrounding vegetation. This weed is a tall understory shrub that can grow to 25 feet tall with a spreading, loosely branched crown with multiple stems at the base. The fruit of buckthorn are large, round, and berry-like clusters that are black in color. Each berry has three to four seeds. Its presence is reported in 36 states at this time, and there are efforts to restrict the sale. However, it can still be found in some nurseries. Planting native vegetation is a great alternative to this exotic plant species. A single mature plant can produce up to 10,000 seeds. For small plants, hand pulling will work fine, but for larger ones, a saw will be needed, and after cutting the shrub, an herbicide will need to be applied. If the root material is not completely removed or herbicide is not used, the plant will regrow. Removing this plant is important because it can decrease forest health and lowers native biodiversity. Proper identification is the first step in slowing and controlling new invaders. The most important thing about noxious weeds is to educate yourself to protect the landscape for wildlife and future generations. If you think you have noxious weeds, contact your local weed district, extension office, or Department of Agriculture.